So we're here at PRGE with somebody. What's your name? Um, it's John oh. Champo. John Champo, yeah, that's exactly. it. I think I've done a few of these. So. <laughs> uh, from Champ Games, and oh boy, do you have some games on display this year? There's a couple of years that were missed. Yes. For yep. some reason, some global yeah. thing happening. I just, yeah, I just took a couple of years off. So, so. <laughs> yeah, I've been. Uh, you've been a little bit lazy, lay, laying back. No, you have a bunch of games here. Yeah. Oh yeah. I just Let's list them to off because release them all at once. So <laughs> yeah. So we have the, the new ones. Obviously, we have oh, Gorp. What's this? Yep. Nice shirt. Huh? It's on for. On on sale here <laughs> exactly yep Looking so we have good. Gorp Arcade um, you've also got another shirt just uh, the champ game yeah shirt, exactly right? for those that want to yeah. just uh, go old, all old school exactly so yeah you have to got a champ games one and um, yeah so for games we have yep. Gorp Arcade of course big one so new. that was good yep. yeah yep that was three years in development so it was nice to get Ooh, that, uh, yeah. that, that out of the way so um, but I think it came out pretty good so yes um, kicks yep kicks Kicks, I finished a few months ago, but you know, we waited till here to really sit, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, much more, uh, you know. And some other games from uh, the years in, in between? Yes, yeah, we have a Ladybug Arcade, um, which just came out in December, actually December 31st. Yeah. You know, bringing the new year. <laughs> under, so. under, the, under the wire? Yeah, yeah, so it was eligible for the uh, um, ZPH Awards, so. Uh, That's right. <laughs> yeah, so we got that in, and um, Robot War, of course, too. Robot so. War, big hit. Yep, exactly. And of course, it kicked we, my ass last night, the arcade version oh really I need to do some more practice on the on the hard uh, level the advanced yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and it's yeah. got the two-player which is a awesome addition yeah yeah the co-op is great yeah we have my brother Paul he's here he's a yeah, other in dork in the back there you probably see him maybe. yeah exactly we're in the same shirt yeah, um, yeah he, he put together a couple of dual stick controllers yes. so yeah we had a couple of guys yesterday uh, really good guys sat down and they played uh, um, two-player co-op dual stick and they got like a million and like wow oh geez these guys are good players they're, they're impressed so it was uh that was fun so we have that we have turbo arcade on display an amazing uh technical accomplishment it's yes. like it's like it's playing a movie like literally playing a movie of the scenes as you drive through them yep absolutely so yeah it was uh, something nathan and i worked a few months on just the graphics engine which is basically uh 60 frames per second uh <laughs> It's, it's quite, yeah, rocking out here. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I don't. But anyway, so, yeah, so that's looking good. That's actually, that's, since it doesn't work on a regular Harmony, that's yep. uh, a lot of people having it, playing it for the first time in a real system, which really does it justice. So it's, uh, it looks even better than on Stella. So, uh, yeah. Um, so that came out pretty good. And I think we have uh, Galagon set up as well. So yeah, all the old classic. Yeah, uh, and Wizard War. Yeah, Wizard War back there, and then you know, kind of do dominating the the booth here. Yeah, like, I know. So I, was, games. I was trying to you know <laughs> have people asking to play Mappy and Zookeeper. I'm like you know, so there's only so many. You can't play them all exactly. <laughs> so I don't want to take up a whole row, you know. Uh, but your new one, uh, a Gorf Arcade, is like many games in one. Yes. And it's got the uh, Galaxian level. Yes, right? the full Galaxian. Missing level. on a lot of the systems. That's why it took three years in development because right. five different games. Every time, so basically, I would take turns to uh, like working on. We're gonna make Astro Battles closer to the arcade and put this in, and then I took a break and maybe do the Space Warp level and yeah. then well, the Galactic level. Well, being bored and making the game, I guess. Yeah, it, yeah, it was a little stressful, but yeah, it was basically <laughs> like working on five into one. So I just wanted to, you know, just quick shout out to Nathan Strum. Obviously, did all the graphics and the voice. He's amazing. Bob came in. Um, I went. I want to give Ross Keenum some um, credit. He did do some of the sounds, yeah. kind of went off the grid a little bit, but um, <laughs> Bob uh, Bob stepped in, which was great, and he yeah. redid all the sounds, and uh, those came out great. And then the um, the Gorf Arcade Testers Club, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah. um, Tom Machine is his name, um, and Steve Ramirez and Jurgen yeah. Oster, um, Bomberman ninety four, thousand four. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, they all stepped in, and this is probably the most tested game I've ever had. Gorf Arcade. As far as, like, uh, tweaking and stuff like that, and they were well, very patient. So, much, so many levels, you have yes. to, like, basically test each level individually and make sure that one works. Exactly, so that was... Uh, that, that was very challenging to make yeah. sure that the game ramped up well and not too difficult. Because yeah. we do have, um, oh, we wish we had them, maybe we have them somewhere, but we have those patches that I was oh. telling you about. Yes. So we had uh, Nathan uh, Strum designed four patches for Core Parquet that you can earn through certain, uh, um, it's actually in the manual, the address you go to. So um, 
there's four different patches you can do on each skill level to yep. earn and then collect all four you can sew them up under your that's right your this shirt. is your first patches for yes. the game that you put out yep exactly so it uh, seemed uh, like a good fit because corp is all about getting to the next rank and stuff like that so right. yeah, that they have a sense. space champion space master space avenger and space warrior um, achievements that you can do so we'll see how many people get to the top level yeah you that one it's pretty hard that one's probably be pretty pretty impossible but <laughs> I'm very I think someone will get it that's so. gonna be the rare patch yep. 10 I, years from now exactly <laughs> I want to thank Al also because we're um, working with Atari Age and that so it's basically you know, for people that buy the cartridge version of eligible for it right um, so it's a promotion through him so he's gonna be handling all the distribution yeah um, champions will be handling the um, verification process so we have a web page set up it's champ.games slash scorpion dash legends yes yeah, so you can download demos to see if you want to buy the game yeah, there exactly and yep. then go and look at all the um, rules and regulations for the patches themselves and I'm actually maintaining a high score table on that as well oh nice so you when can people see the high score yeah so yeah. when you send in your picture your screen I'll add it to the list and then you'll see how you're ranking so it's not just getting the patch you can also uh, move up the ranks and oh, uh, become awesome. a Gorpian legend so <laughs> um, so yeah so that's exciting so there's a lot going on with that game so um, yeah kicks kind of didn't really get much attention as far as that but it's, well like Gorf is said, quite a powerhouse exactly it got a t-shirt it that's got the right. patch it got the you're content pushing it hard yeah yep. I was gonna do a kicks t-shirt but you know I did it and put a line there and went <laughs> it's uh, not uh, people uh, won't recognize this unless it would uh you know a hologram where you could actually have the thing moving it would have been really there cool you go. exactly but of course the t-shirts would be 200 Fifty dollars. Exactly. So yeah. It'd be exactly. Hard to, yeah. Make your check payable to zero pay company. <laughs> yes, but, please. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. So unfortunately, it's just it's a great game. Actually, I was playing a co-op with um, Dave, the guy that made uh, Mr. Yo-Yo. Yeah. I haven't really gotten to play co-op. We had such a blast with it. So I've been walking around having people play co-op uh, kicks and. Uh, oh, it's nice. A, it's yes. a lot of fun. So it's. Uh, and how has been the reaction? Like you've been hanging around this booth yeah. pretty much exclusively. Uh, you've been playing games with people and watching people play the games uh, and uh, what has been the reaction when you've been talking to it's, it's been really good um, a lot of people it's been interesting this year because as you know it's been a huge uh, um, Atari age uh, form you know uh, oh yeah. it's like a party here it's like, like a, you made that you made that oh my god you made that you, know, you got Daryl here you got yeah um, it's been a really Dion, it's great exactly. year an interesting year because so many games have come out and we haven't been had PRGE for three years yes exactly and yeah and so everybody's here from all yeah. over the world everybody it's quite a reunion of sorts so it's uh, yeah it's been fun meeting all the developers yeah no it's, it's been wonderful and it's part of the reaction from the uh, the general public has been very positive for all all games yeah. um, so I've been able uh, interestingly there's been a lot of people that have come here that I've talked to that I didn't even know there were new games for the Atari so yes I'm always surprised at yeah, that but exactly. you know if they're we're, not looking for yeah. them they wouldn't know exactly we're kind of living in our own bubble and we think oh my god everyone <laughs> everyone thinks that Atari is back it's like yeah. it's been back but so a lot of people have and a lot of younger people actually I was talking to a father and a daughter um, yesterday with Gorf She's 28, and she was talking about how she wants to get into Atari development. Yeah. And I'm like, really? hey, yeah. So I gave her some links, stuff like that. Oh. I said, you know, I'll help her well, along. We got a community for you. Yeah, exactly. And if, uh, another guy came up talking about Robotron, and we got yeah. him. He goes, I just bought my first Atari. What do you guys recommend? And I went, you have opened up Pandora's box, dude. It's <laughs> like, all of it. Yeah, so I said, you know, here are all the classics I think you should yep. get, like the original ones, and then, yep. you know, here's what we do and stuff like that. Because there's so. lots of genres represented. So yeah, you exactly. Just say, oh, what, what, do you like exactly. shooters? Do you exactly. Like he's a, he's a, I'm a shoot 'em up guy. I went, oh, oh we got, well, you've got a lot of shooters. Exactly. So I, I pushed him on, you know, Galaga and stuff like that. But, <laughs> but yeah. yeah, he was pretty impressed and scramble and stuff like that. So, uh, I yeah. do have my Harmony car, so even though it's not on display, people have been asked about Scramble oh, and stuff okay. of that. So, yeah, uh, so I pop it in with, you know, Al's not looking, you know, so uh, sneaking in. Scramble so scrambling. Exactly. Old school gaming in. Yep. And one guy came in and he goes, look, I'm here to pick up a Ladybug Arcade for someone. I went, oh. <laughs> he goes, okay. what's the difference? So I actually had, uh, you know, oh, okay. we had the old one and the new one. I went, you know, it, it, this is what I would have made. 15 years ago the technology right. was there so they're yeah. still both great games this one's half the price yeah. so if you're just looking to play a maze game this is what i recommend but this guy wants all the features of the new mazes so 
yeah. So it's interesting, you know, just so. And, I, and I th speaking of like people get just getting into it, I think these games are very approachable because yes. they're, a lot of them are very simplistic. They're arcade Absolutely. type of games, especially like shooters or something. You just press a button, mm -hmm. shoot everything on screen. Yep. So I think like for the younger generation used to playing phone games mm -hmm. where it's just like tapping the screen, I think it translates really well. It really does. Atari games. So I hope a lot of people come by and, and can see yeah, it. Yeah, and just know it's like, yeah, this is, uh, you know, just, just. And it's cheap to get uh, like, into, too. Yeah, exactly, like, yeah. An Atari 2600 or 7800, yep. you can pick them up. You can up get going, anywhere. buy a Harmony car, and you're yep. ready to go. So, so you can load yeah, it up. Exactly. So you have the younger generation are, are you know, yeah. Well, kind younger of than us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They compare them to the phone games. Like, oh, this is great, just kind of zoning out. Cause they, yeah. That's kind of what they like to do. Yes. And then yeah. you have the older generation. That's kind of how I got into it. It's like, you know, I'm trying to play an Xbox game. I got, you know, I got a hat. I'm trying to push. I'm trying to push this button at the same time. I think I just needed something simple, and when that's kind of what brings a lot of people back to this. So it's uh, yeah, and especially all the arcade ports. They're like, I remember this. Yes, and exactly. That's another way to get them in. So yeah, yeah. The more people in the community, the better. Absolutely. So it's uh, so thanks so much. Yeah, for the interview. Way, yeah, I appreciate it. Always look forward to talking. So oh yeah, one disappointing thing from this show for yeah. me. Personally, oh, what no. I wanted to uh, um, debut with Elevator Agent Action, yes. uh, but I just ran out of steam. So, and you I apologize. Enough, you have enough. Yeah, here we don't know. I'm I, save I'm, that for yeah. next year. I, I want to apologize because a few people came out. Where's Elevator Agent? Oh, so, I like, see. I came. I flew, walked all the way here from you know <laughs> the East Coast. Exactly, yeah. and there's no no. But anyway, so it will be. I forgot it soon. at home. You can say that exactly. Oh, I so, it at home. so yeah, so I just ran out of steam. But obviously, that'll be something that we'll be debuting on Zero Page Homebrew. Before the end of the year, so we're eligible uh, for those awards. That's right, you yeah. heard it here. He's, he has to be a man of his word now. Yeah, so I give him a couple months. So, yeah. but besides that, so everything else is good. That, so excited. next year is Elevator, Adrian, and Turbo. So far, so those are the lists. Uh, Turbo's for what we're awesome. Doing. Yeah, so we'll try to get those finished. Try to get driving controller support. Maybe even have my brother whip up a uh, special driving controller with a shifter thing. Oh so, my God! Yeah, so we'll see. So that would be very cool. Always fun stuff to do. So yeah. But anyway, so yeah, I appreciate yeah. it, and I know you guys are heading out today so yeah um, we gotta we gotta head back home yeah you really had a lot of interviews it's like you had like a line oh. the line was longer than the line that was yeah. ready to buy uh atari and stuff when the thing I know. opened it's a yesterday. line of developers <laughs> exactly is it my turn, is it my turn? Exactly. it's like oh my god run off my feet i know exactly so i appreciate well, it thanks Jim. so much sean thanks. as Excellent. always yeah but thanks everyone for the support and uh you know champ games will be back next year too so yeah so Great. we'll see you online absolutely and fade and cut <laughs> exactly should i do some push-ups first <laughs> Oh, yeah, I look pumped. Oh, yeah. So anyway, I just got out of the gym, and uh, <laughs> Gorf is over there, and Kix is over there. 